Greetings to everybody. It is time for your favorite show and mine and ours. The crew is here today, and this is Mixed Beer Review. This is episode 248. Let me throw it up on the screen. Season th number three. And there's a lot of beer shows uh, that we've done, and there's a lot of beer shows that are to come, and we want you guys to be part of it. This show is about a couple things. First off, we want to let you know what's in the can. Second thing, we don't want you to drink alone. You know, and I know that people would say, you know, I drink alone with no one else. But no, not us. We drink together. We want you to drink together. So that's that's what's the best thing about having the whole crew here to uh, to hang out is that we don't have to drink alone. So, uh, Zach, I see you've uh, jumped into the uh, co-pilot seat. What's up, dude? I have. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. And let me let me th throw the uh, camera on on the couch and see what the, how everyone's doing over there. What's up? What's up? Laura? Marcus? Glad hey, to be back. Hey. Great to have you back. Yes. Is it comfortable? Is that is that couch comfortable? Yes. Is it a good beer drinking I'm couch? Selling. Every beer gets better. Okay, good. That's what I want to hear. That is what I want to hear. I was gonna say casting couch. <laughs> that's a different. That's an entirely different show. <laughs> that's the show that I wouldn't want to watch with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different, totally different review. All right, episode two forty eight has started with a bang, and I'm excited about this one because um, it's New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force. It's a, a, a fruit punch IPA. I actually, have had Voodoo Ranger. Their hazy IPA on the kegerator before you get to the kegerator. There's a few things that have to happen. First off, you got to have a damn good beer. Secondly, I got to be able to buy the damn good beer in a sixth, which is a sixth of a keg, you know, that fits into my kegerator. Um, but the other thing I like is cool art. Um, this beer company's out of Colorado. They uh, are a bigger craft beer company, right? Um, and they're available. I mean, you know, how many of these bombers have you gone into the gas station? You got some big plans and you go in and you're like, hey, I, I want something that's, uh, you know, kind of like a cool uh, IPA. And you're like, hey, New Belgium, I, I can go in there and get one. Um, Zach, this is 9.5, though, ABV. That's that's pretty high. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. <laughs> you, you get out of like the seven zone. My, my comfort zone is like six and a half. I feel like six and a half. I'm in, I'm in good range. I can handle that. Seven, I'm like, you know what? You know what? I, I'll big boy up. But you get over seven, you get to nine and a half. And uh, I'm glad that we're all going to – yeah, this is – yeah, right. I mean, this is a big guy here. That's a, There's a lot of alcohol in there. If we all just drank one of these ourselves, yeah, we would definitely be feeling it. So, all right, let me throw this up on the screen here. This is – yeah, no <laughs> doubt. This is from the, the uh, Voodoo Ranger website, uh, you know, a little bit of the uh, specs on this. It's 9.5% uh, alcohol. The IBU is 33, so that means that we're not talking about a whole lot of bitterness, which if, if you're making a fruit punch IPA, I'm guessing that it's not, not going to be very bitter. Right. Um, you got the hops, Pato. Amarillo, Centennial, Galaxy, Severo, um, Strata, Lotus. I mean, these are some, you know, this is going to be an interesting uh, experience here because I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, first off, the, the, the curiosity that I have on this is what color is this going to be? I know. I'm thinking red. Like, that's what I keep picturing. Yeah, I mean, like, it's got you're, it's got to be red, right? If it's not, I'm going to be surprised. Me too. I mean, like, and look, I mean, I, I'm kind of in the same spot you are. I'm like, look at that can. It should come out ecto cooler. <laughs> yeah, right. Neon green. Maybe that could be a neon green. I mean, but have you ever had an IPA that came out really red? No. Watch it not be red. All right. Well, um, who's ready to try this? I'm nervous. All right. Let's try it. Well, let, me, let me throw it up there. All right. So here's the here's the can art. There's the Voodoo Ranger. Really cool can art. Uh, Laura and Zach brought this. What's the patch on his shoulder? It says uh, nine and a half. I thought so. I could, pretty much. Yeah, I could wear <laughs> one of those. All right, well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and crack this up. Now, in a future beer show um, that hasn't happened yet, a beer blew up in my lap. This one didn't. <laughs> when beer blows up in your lap, it's not a good thing. All right. Oh, not right. Uh, it's not red. It is not red. All right, so hand me your glasses so I can go ahead. And since this one is a, 
a tall boy. I can go ahead and give me a little bit more. Zach, hand me your Knoxville glass. I do like that glass. How cool is that? that big, is he's glass. a big Tennessee fan, so he's got a. You know, they make Fairhope glasses like that, too. Like Where? Like mugs and cups. What is that new golden monkey? Not golden monkey. Three golden monkeys? Three golden monkeys? Three monkeys? Oh, like three a, Georges? No, no, no. It's three something plugs? monkey. Something. It's a store in Fairhope with a bunch of, like, knickknacks. I thought really? we going rings or something, but. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out for y'all. But they make Fairhope cups like that. All right. All right. So everybody is um, supplied now. Oh, gosh. Smell it. She's a nine and a half. Huh? It does smell like fruit punch. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely smells like fruit punch. It smells so good. I'm scared. I don't think I'm going to like it. I, <laughs> I almost want to like Well, let me take it, and then I'm going to get the camera on you guys so that they can see you guys trying I've, it. But. I've had some bizarro voodoo rangers that were actually amazing. I mean, I've also had some that were very wrong. Oh, I've got a good take on this one. I've got a good take on this one. All right. She's a nine and a half. Let's see. Oh, that's good. I was not expecting that. That is really good to me. That's not what I was expecting. Marcus, we're all we're all looking at you, Marcus. Like <laughs> we're waiting on your some words yeah, of wisdom here. Facial expression for me. Yeah. All right. Well, let me let me let me throw this let me throw it back on me. All right. Look, this this beer reminds me right off the bat of Pat O'Brien's Hurricane, and I know about hurricanes because um, I I I got drunk one time so bad out of at a sugar bowl that I slept half in my hotel room and half out of my hotel room. I, cause it was too hot inside, inside I thought. Um, and then so they dragged me in by my feet, you know, <laughs> but this is the same exact flavor as, um, yeah. as sure. a, as a hurricane. And I'll, O'Daly's hurricane. There's something else that just reminds me of significantly. Okay. Have y'all ever had the fruit roll ups, the strawberry fruit roll ups as a kid? Ooh. Please take another sip and tell me you don't taste a fruit roll. I taste a gusher, if anything. Maybe a gusher. Same, same family. Yeah. 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 I picked that up. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and, and score this. Let's okay. go ahead and score it. It's, 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 it's not very bitter. Uh, it's got a punch to it. I can definitely taste the alcohol. Um, I mean, like you, you can't hide nine and a half. Mm -hmm. So you know, as I sit here right now and I drank this, like I, I'm getting a punch yeah. uh, from this beer. Um, I love the fact that it's available, that no matter where you're watching this show, you're probably going to be able to find this or something from Voodoo Ranger. You know, a lot of the beers we do are regional, you know, and since we live on the coast uh, of Alabama, I mean, we have a lot of beers that are Florida, Mississippi, Alabama beers, Tennessee, you know, uh, the regional beers. But this is a Colorado beer um, and it's but it's it's all around the the country. I mean, I've seen these things all over the place. So, all right, uh, Marcus, you went first last time. You know what that means? You'll go first again this time. No, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking it would mean the opposite. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, you're right. Zach, Marcus went first last time. You go first this time. All right, let me take one more step. I think this one is pretty good. I don't think it's as good as the Westbrook. Uh, it's more like you were saying, the beer taste. It was more the aftertaste is a beer taste, but it also after you take a second, you can taste the fruit punch taste to it. For a good solid rating, I would say maybe a four. A four. Okay. Hey, look, I I'm with you on that. It's a good. That's I think that's a very fair score. Uh, Laura, you spend a lot of time with Zach. Um, you guys are you guys are a pretty pretty big team. You go ahead and tell me what you think. So I was expecting to not like this at all. So the fact that I I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna. It, it's nostalgic to me. Like y'all might people might not think it tastes like what I think it tastes like, but it kind of brings me back to like childhood and fruit roll ups, <laughs> like those strawberry flavor ones. Um, so I'm gonna give it a three seven five. I like that score. I've already written my score down, so I guess that's because I'm over here doing this. I can do that. But 
three seven five. So look, three seven five is is a little bit better than average. Like you like it. It's it's not something that you know if you saw it, you'd pick it up. But you know, it's not like you're going to do backflips for it. But you're not spitting it out, and right. it didn't blow up in your lap. Right, Marcus. I wanted to be last up. <laughs> like I said, I didn't want to influence anybody. On, but you you had written down your score. I don't. So I am a fan of New Belgium. I want to say that, although I, um, you know, they made one of the best loggers coming out of Colorado with fat tire. Uh, the Voodoo Rangers been widely distributed since, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, that's one of their, that's like their flagship IPA, I suppose. Um, and they make a lot of different varieties of that booty ranger and different flavors on it. This fruit force, personally, I hate to like go for it. I'm gonna be, be honest. honest. I'm gonna be honest, Give man. It a one. They say she's a nine and a half, and for nearly being a dime, I'm gonna have to cut that in half. Two, I give it two point five. To be honest, I feel like it's gotta like cherry medicinal flavor it does kind of. hitting on what mick was saying with the hurricanes it tastes like mixed berry cough syrup with <laughs> beer. i, I mean it. that's just how i feel, I feel that. <laughs> that is a great I now love i will that. say as a kid i loved cough syrup because i'm just that weirdo i hate you know i'm down <laughs> so I'm, I'm down with a good expectorant not the great though Oh man, I to this day won't drink or eat anything great wow. because because of Dimetap. So that honestly has a lot of sway and influence in how I feel about this beer. All right, look, I I've already forgotten. Run through your score again. Four. You gave it a four. Three, you gave seven, it a three five. seven to five, and then uh, Marcus, would you give it? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Forgot to save. Everybody has different. It tastes like Mad Dog 2020. Yeah, that'd be a one. <laughs> so see, Look, I, I, sick as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think but that's. See, I used to get a fruit roll up. So. <laughs> it tastes it's like fruit roll up. Yeah. I mean, that's happiness at lunchtime. Yeah. I, I think that. Um, <laughs> happiness at lunchtime versus the flu. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> you gave it a four, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm and I think here. since you said me and Zach know each other so well, I think he's given it such a high rating because he doesn't typically like IPAs. So like the different, the difference. The last two, they were great. Yeah. So what did you? And you gave it a three seven, seven five. So you guys like it a lot. Um, and then Marcus, you you went all the way down to two and a half. That's right. I'm so it, it brings back some bad memories mm -hmm. for you. Does it bring back memories of you throwing up on yourself? Oh man, my worst memory. <laughs> I mean, let's we're going on more than uh, I don't want to say how long ago it was, but yeah, in my teens, the cardio just don't do it, don't touch the stuff, it's gross. Cardio woman, Lamone, yeah, none of it. Okay, well, I. I had some bad experiences at Pat O'Brien's. Every time I try those hurricanes, bad things happen to me. So much sugar. Yeah, it's Ooh. not even that. It's just I drink a lot of Pat them. Pat O'Brien's, that's it. It's a bit yeah, Pat O'Brien's. I knew what you were saying. And and like one time we there was a big line and our dad our buddy's dad like bribed the guys at the door a hundred bucks. And not only did we get right in, but they put us like in a table right next to the piano. Mm. Um, and the last thing I remember was uh, not, that's not even the time I slept inside and outside at the same time. That was a whole different night. I, I ate a hot dog, one of those street dogs on the way out. And somebody in put me uh, in New Orleans oh, and somebody Orleans. put me in a cab. And Pat yeah, so look, I, I, this is solid. These are solid beers. You know, the, these are craft, but they're not, you know, this isn't like you're comparing it to like uh, some of the other craft beers, but very solid beer. I'm giving it a three. Um, I feel like this is this is a, a beer that I, I have no problem drinking, but it's it's kind of, you know, it's just kind of one of those beers where it's like, yeah, you know, I'm here. I'm doing my thing. If it didn't Probably taste. Buy it again, but no, I would buy it again. It, if it didn't taste like, you know, defeat in my life 
I probably would like it a lot more. Like you, you're talking fruit roll ups. I'm talking sleeping outside and throwing up, you know, <laughs> hot dogs. So, so no, I, but I, I really appreciate what they do at New Belgium. I think New Belgium's one of the the best uh, craft beer breweries in the country. Uh, and, and I put them up there with Stone and Sierra Nevada, you know, where they do big batches, where they're, they're distributing it all over the place. And they're constantly putting out really good, interesting stuff. This is interesting. You know, I got, we were thinking that it was going to come out and it was going to be red. It tastes red. It does. It didn't come out red, but it tastes red. So uh, good work by them. Uh, good work by you guys as well. And that does it for this episode. But again, as you hang out with us here on Mixed Beer Review, and I know a lot of you guys are doing it, we're, we're 16 minutes into this beer review, which wow. means that there's a lot of people talking right now about the show. Like and follow at Mixed Beer Review. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and we will keep on putting out episodes as long as you keep watching them. See ya. I feel like we talked.